I got some blinds that are high up and hard to reach. You know, I can stretch here and everything, and I can reach, but you know, somebody shorter gonna have a hard time uh, to reach all the way up there for these blinds. I'm gonna show you how to make an extension. Okay, today I'm gonna show you a quick way how to make two blinds into a longer blind wand, wand extension. What I've got is a hot glue gun and going to be heating that up. So here's my hot glue gun. Plug that in. Let that start heating up here. And I've got some more glue to go in here. Pretty nice tool, the hot glue gun. Just heats up the glue and a pretty strong glue. And there's alternatives of types of glue use. You can use JB Cold Well, the works really good. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be using today. And I've got a miter box here. And a saw for cutting through the plastic handle here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the tightest handle on and I'm going to pop off the loose one. That one's pretty loose. Okay, and on this side, I'm going to cut off the end of this. Now this one's metal, so you can either use a hacksaw or sometimes I wind up using my pipe cutter here. And just lightly turn this on so that we can turn it around. And little by little, you know, just tighten it down a little bit, give it another rotation, tighten it down, give it another rotation until it cut all the way through. A lot of times I'll just use my hacksaw for this, like I was saying, I kind of prefer that. Okay, once that was ready, I can just break off the end here. And this end doesn't really need to look too pretty. It's going to get covered by our handle. So with the handle portion, what we're going to want to do is we're going to cut the end off. Right about here. nice straight cut and now what we'll do is we're going to link this over one side of our handle like so and then to our extension going all the way up we'll link this side on okay so that'll link both sides we won't tighten it up yet because we're going to want to pull it apart and put our hot glue gun our hot glue in. So now I'll go ahead and pull this apart. And it, it grabbed so strong already, even without the glue. We're probably going to need some pliers to pull it apart. There we go. Here's that side. And on this side, I'll just give it a couple little taps with my Leatherman. So anyway, now we've got a, a nice strong link there. And the hot glue is just for added, added strength. With the hot glue, here's the gun here. Just 
going to insert some in here, some around this side. Now we're ready to slip it on. Gotta get it on there before before it dries. Give it a little a little tap. Okay. And on the other side, you just kind of fill this up here, as well as our extension here. Add that down in there. And that will push everything together. Make them line up all the way. And you can add a tiny bit around here. Just to keep everything holding good. Once it dries, we can peel off whatever we want to. But anyway, you can see there's our nice new extension. So now we can reach a lot further. We're ready to install it. Let it dry. Good to go. Everything will be nice and strong. Okay, so got our extension here. Going to be going in way up top there. So get this thing going. We're going to have to take out the old one, put in the new one. The old one just comes out at the right angle. You push it out in theory. There it goes. And now we're just going to need to hook on the new one. So grab the new one. Nice extension. So we'll have plenty more reach up there. Okay. And the trick is going to be just to hook it in at exactly the right angle. And this side should be, in theory, should be a little bit easier. That's in theory. Almost there. It's not quite. It might take me two hands here. There it is. Okay. It's got popped in. And now we can rotate it from the ground. So now we can step down here. And you can see we've got our nice new. New lines. Good to go. That's our new blind one extension. All set. I thought I'd show you another extension where I did a JB cold weld and then just touched up the uh, cold weld with some almond touch up paint to make it better, but kind of the same idea just a slightly different method where I fitted the parts together and used the cold weld. But anyway, that's one way you can set up an extension so you're not having to stretch and pull muscles in your back. Good to go.